This video is going to be on inflammatory neutrophilia, which is an increased concentration of neutrophils in blood due to inflammatory cytokines that are being released from an area of inflammation within the body. To explain how an inflammatory neutrophilia occurs, I'm going to draw the bone marrow as well as a blood vessel. Within the bone marrow, there is a storage pool of mature neutrophils, and those are the two segmented neutrophils within the bone marrow. But then there's also neutrophil precursors within a maturation pool, and I'm representing that by one band neutrophil at the bottom. Within the blood vessel, there are free-flowing neutrophils within a circulating neutrophil population, and these neutrophils have cell adhesion molecules which allow them to either transiently adhere to the endothelium or undergo migration into the tissues. When they're transiently adhered to the endothelium, they're called the marginal pool of neutrophils. Um, so to explain this inflammation, I'm gonna draw some tissue here represented by the, the green box and a site of inflammation within the tissue. And this inflammation is releasing inflammatory cytokines, which makes it back to the bone marrow and tells the bone marrow to release the storage pool of mature neutrophils. But if the inflammation is strong enough, it also tells the bone marrow to release neutrophil precursors. So it releases younger neutrophils, including band neutrophils, and if it's intense enough, it will, will release earlier neutrophil precursors too, so metamyelocytes and myelocytes. Also during inflammation, there's a shift of the marginal pool neutrophils that are not at the site of inflammation into the circulating pool. So you can think of those marginal pool neutrophils that are away from the inflammatory site as another storage pool of neutrophils, essentially. So they get mobilized into the circulating pool, which is another cause for an inflammatory neutrophilia. Now, the neutrophils at the site of inflammation don't go back into the circulating pool. Instead, they migrate into the inflamed tissues to help fight whatever the inflammatory cause is. Now, if this inflammation persists, if it undergoes chronic inflammation and there's persistent release of inflammatory cytokines, then that makes it back to the bone marrow and it tells the bone marrow to undergo neutrophilic hyperplasia. So a third mechanism, which is, occurs with chronic inflammation, is that there's increased production of neutrophils in the bone marrow, and therefore increased release of neutrophils from the bone marrow. So things that we look for to identify an inflammatory neutrophilia is a left shift. Usually there is a left shift, but sometimes there's not, there, there's not a left shift. We also look for toxic neutrophils, which is the subject of a different video. And then we also look for a moderate to marked neutrophilia. So an inflammatory neutrophilia can be mild, but if the neutrophilia exceeds greater than two times the upper reference interval, then that's more specific for inflammation as the cause of the neutrophilia compared to a stress or an excitement neutrophilia. Now there is a special type of inflammatory neutrophilia called a leukemoid response, wherein the neutrophilia exceeds 50,000 neutrophils per liter, per microliter. And this leukemoid response occurs in select types of inflammation. It usually occurs in strong neutrophilic suppurative inflammatory um, <clears throat> responses, excuse me. And fortunately, most of these causes of leukemoid response start with P. So the first one is pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas. Pyometra, which is inflammation of the uterus. Pyelonephritis, which is inflammation of the kidney. Peritonitis, inflammation of the peritoneal cavity, also known as the abdominal cavity 
and the sneaky P, which is pneumonia, which is inflammation of the lungs. So those are the P's of the leukemoid response. And then there's a couple of non-P causes of leukemoid response, the first of which is immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, and then also cancer with necrotic centers. So that's um, inflammatory neutrophilia. It's caused by inflammatory cytokines due to release of maturation pool, shifting of marginal neutrophils away fr from the site of inflammation to the site of inflammation, and then with chronicity, hyperplasia of neutrophils within the bone marrow. The best thing to identify inflammation in the patient is the presence of a left shift, neutrophil toxicity, or a moderate to marked neutrophilia greater than two times the upper reference interval.